Okay, we're second half of the video here. I'm gonna take this valve off. So we're not gonna leave anything good. We'll take them where we can. Piece of brass. Smell the gas and the pipe. This old HMS. Any weight off it? Maybe a third of a pound, probably. Half a pound. Half, just over half a pound. See? It's well worth it. Two, a buck fifty, a buck sixty. Just say that extra. Because just threw it in the way it was. You no know, extra money. Kind of uh, sign holders or something. I'm thinking. A couple of pipes in here. It's got stainless steel hangers, so we'll deal with it later. Cast iron with the stainless steel joints, clamps. So, so let's throw some of these inside. Inside that container.
Just take that heavy washing machine. Not really heavy, but anyways. So I can see what the shred's gonna be going for. Supposed to be a drop somewhere in the states, anyways. I said twenty dollars a ton, but that's American market. Our market could be different contacts, so we don't know. A lot of stuff goes to Turkey. Make, make rebar there in Turkey. There, I think. I'll try to get that thing in after. It's a big item. That's the thing about steel, it drops fast all the time. I think everybody has so much of it. Copper might be a little different story, it could hold longer. Peaks will stay longer, I think. Back east, you're getting over 200 ton. I don't know if we get, we always get a crap deal here. But I think it's the yard. No yard pays higher. They control the markets. But if they want to pay, they want to pay 200, they'll pay 200. But if they want to pay 100, nobody else, unless someone else has a better contact. Okay, let me just keep loading a few more things and then get back to some stripping here. Okay. They got most of the stuff in there. I'm going to get these lights clean quickly, throw them in. Uh, I want to try to get this apart and that apart. So we're gonna have the time here. Well, so, to be honest, it's only this. Oh, it's heavy. It's just the furnace of the heat exchanger. So only thing I really need is take this this valve off to cut it off. Excuse me. Cut that valve off. Getting too dull. This blade. The blade gets so dull always, like at the, the start, start of the blade. And if I could take that fan out, a little bit of wire, then this one's ready to go. Oh, that's very heavy. Old school heavy transformer here. I never get AC pickups, I can't believe it, I'm so happy. You know, you never get these things. But uh, my buddy called me, so it was good. But I did a lot of work for him in park buildings before, so he knows it takes crap. Just go for the easy stuff. A little bit for time.
Maybe I'll take the mortar off. From here. And it's a big mortar too, it's probably going to be good for copper. So where's the screws here? Take this off here. Two screws should pop out. Should we come out? There it is. Get a big cast iron heat exchanger there. Too much work to get it out. Okay, I'm gonna throw that in the van. Like a strip, I think. Yeah, it's cross stripped. See that? Look at that. Put a pass on it. I'm guessing it's going to fit there, that's where it's planning to fit there. That's the thing about scrapping, one day you might have nothing, next day you got a whole load of stuff. It happens like that. Right pick up, right call. I figure it's a stupid bike handle. That's good. Oh, very heavy. Coming loose. 
red one. Feels like one. Could be wrong, but feels almost like one. Don't have the angle, the extension. It's a big mortar. I hope it's copper. It's copper. A couple pounds for sure. Oh. I think I got three pounds out of one before. I think the green one's a little bit smaller, yeah. Ah, got a shock off this. A shock off my knee here. with it after okay let me just uh, get some tools ready hold on this is the winner right there this stuff here Number one here. Silly stuff. Some paint on her. But it's oil filled, so maybe, maybe number two, you can smell the oil. The Freon oil in the oil. I'm pick, picky about that. Because they don't want to contaminate their load up. I thought this, this was tape that was wrapped around tape, you know, black tape, that's really hard to get off. It's actually not bad. This is the black tape that I'm worried about. I thought there were some. It's like tar. It's all dirty, it's not worth taking off. No way, it's all dirty. You take take an hour to waste your time there, it's not worth it. So we're looking at uh, I don't know what they're gonna classify that at, but let's scrape some loose off here. So you can cut that off. Mm -hmm. 
number one, number two, and some kind of dirty. This, if I get the AC coil, I have more, more shred here. We get load. Not too bad. Light bulbs are probably good. The energy efficient type. Yeah, let me just process. Gonna cut the wires off this and keep moving. See one right behind here. There it is. Okay, let me just get the white screws here. I don't know. Somebody's figured all the screws out here. Hold on. I got some screws out already. Hmm. Got quite a few screws out. I don't see one else. Maybe it's welded. I don't know. Shouldn't be. So 
what you want right there. I'll probably cut the side off for now. Some guys do it the other way, but there's flaps in there. I don't feel like hammering them. It's not that good. Too hard on the hands. Let me change blade. See that? Night day. Probably about fifteen pounds, I think. Pretty heavy. So Yeah, it's heavy, these 40 pounds. It's pretty heavy. 40 pounds of copper. Uh, number one. Whew. Okay. Okay, let me just close this up here so it don't kill my battery. Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna knock these noodles off. Cutters are Easy so far. No way about brass right now, I'm not taking brass. So just gotta get this stuff off.
and the plier works a little better for the hard stuff. This one derailed a bit. Play got too started too. Can't do it too much. Where the pliers went, the cutters probably right in front of me, but where? Where is it? Okay, so we're gonna dump this load here. Number two. Number two there. I have to use these two two pound pails. They screw me otherwise. Hold the hell they're weighing. Off, there's a piece of brass right there. Oh, they look, it's weird how they twisted this up. What do they do that for? Oh, it's in there pretty good. Remember, there's brass in there. This little brass pile. That. This, I don't know, some kind of dirty copper. Uh, I'm not going to sit there for hours on this thing. Not worth it. I'll stuff copper. Timeline this year. The time goes fast. I'll leave these here. Oh. Very heavy transformers. Wow, there's another one here. Oh, I don't know why it's sore, but. I think they're ballasts, but I'm not sure what kind of ballast is. Street sign, maybe? I'm not sure. 
So all the some stripping here, transformers are there. I'll sweep this when I come back. I'm taking a scrap run right now. Come back and dump the other load. Close 4:30, so I have enough time. VX number two insulated, number two copper, number one. This is going to be some sort of who knows what. I'll let you know. One rad. Okay, that's my load. Okay, so uh, I went back and took the load back here. Uh, copper's dropping. Okay, for that copper they gave me uh, that had an insulation on there. That's copper light, 358 a pound. It was five pounds there. 1790 had that tape around it. Copper light. Copper number one, 503. It used to be 515, so it dropped already quite a bit. 12 cents there. Uh, I had five pounds. Copper number one, 503 a pound, 25.15 for that. Copper number two, uh, seven pounds of copper number two, 473 a pound. Last time was 479, so that dropped a little bit. So that's 33.11 for that. I had copper radiators at 18 pounds at 240 a pound. That's really, really good for copper rad, 18 pounds. 43.20 for that rad. Awesome. Very good. Insulated bucket. That big bucket of white wire. 65 to 70% recovery. 48 pounds. 329, which is good. I got 319. Yeah, I got 329 last time, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it was 319. I went 329. So that stayed the same. These prices are going to be dropping. $157.92 for the white wire. Why strip it? Might get another ten dollars more, big deal. Okay, uh, BX cable aluminum, BX copper, thirty-five pounds, dollar ninety-two. Last time I think it was a little bit higher. I thought it was around two dollars, two oh two or something. So that went down a bit. Sixty-seven twenty. Grand total, three hundred and thirty dollars. No, three hundred and forty-three dollars and thirty cents. Awesome pickup. Dollar eighteen surcharge. That means I had one hundred eighteen pounds. Super, super great pickup. Plus, I have right now the scrap run. Uh, a little bit of tin I got. Also, I have more insulated wire. I'm going to be stripping. I have electrical boxes. I have transformers. That load was easy worth four hundred dollar. Four hundred dollar load. That's why I was. I gave electrician guys coffee money, twenty bucks. I said no. He said no. I said no. Just go ahead, take it. He's, I said, normally if I pick up steel, it, it really doesn't make no money. Since, you know, I got copper and other stuff here, it, it makes my load better. I said, no, go ahead, take it. So he took it. I said, go buy, your, buy some coffee or, you know, or something. Yeah, it's just a coffee because, you know, you buy coffee, donuts, it's like 10 bucks almost. Seems like everything's just so expensive. So whatever they want to do, it's up to them. So that's what I'm saying. There's a good money in wire if they're paying high. If they're not paying high, if they're paying like 250 for that wire, it's not worth it. I'd have to strip it. But at 329, you know, if you do the math, it's a 65% covery. As low as 65% depends on what kind of wires are inside. If it's 12 gauge or if it's uh, 14 gauge. And you gotta remember when there's one set of wires, there's also two insulated, one not insulated, and then one outer jacket is insulated. So there's a lot of waste there. You'd just be surprised. And that type of wire, that plastic is very heavy. The other wire I stripped, that black wire the other day, that plastic weighed nothing, was so light. It felt like super light. This is heavy materials. Okay, we'll do this scrap run here. We'll let you know how it worked out for weight, pay, and see if uh, the prices are still good. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so back from the load there. Loaded pretty quick. Unloaded, I mean. It's only... Time we got got there is about tunnel less than 22 maybe. It's all, it was four o'clock by the time we got out of there, so 15, 20 minutes to unload that. Price is uh, still at uh, it's uh, 1,260 pounds, 160 a ton. Price is still the same. I had a, had a. Two dollars and twenty-five cents surcharge came out to ninety-eight fifty-five. Ninety-eight fifty-five. So not too bad. 
So, I'm gonna head back to the yard. I gotta get uh, my bright shiny ready. Prices are dropping. They're tanking. A copper, I could say, went down seven cents, he said the other day or something. But if you look at it, bright and shiny was originally at um, 519. Well, no, number one was at 515. And, and bright shiny is 519. Now it's like 503 for number one. So it went down like, a, I would say, 12 cents. So anyways, um, I phoned Cruiser Mac from YouTube, told him that prices are dropping. He said he might try to come out, but he said they said it's going to start dropping from now on. Like, like I said, it, it reaches a peak, then it drops fast. I, I, I've been doing this scrapyard. The, scrap, the way the scrapyard runs, they always pay you top dollar. So what happens is when their price drops, it always drops continuously. That's what's happening. Other scrapyards pay you less, so you don't see the drop right away. You might see it... A, maybe two months later or a month later but you'll see a drop here instantly say tomorrow could drop already that fast but the other yards will pay you maybe 30 cents less and then you won't see the drop right away you might see like I say over time like I used to only get maybe um, I don't know like two dollars a pound for copper it was really little and they were paying over three something here so it shows you I always got two bucks all the time it seemed like it never changed same with aluminum, it was like 60 cents, 70 cents kind of thing. They were paying $1.20. So that's the big difference here, right? Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, share, like. As always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.